What a miserable, wet, horrible day. Can I correct you? Yeah. It's a wet, horrible, miserable summer. <laughs> oh, it's been awful. It's been the worst summer we've experienced for a few years. For the last six weeks, we've had nothing but rain, really strong winds, the occasional sunny spell. It's, it's not it, been fun. We've actually wondered whether it's because we're further north and we're in Yorkshire. And I've been asking people, is it always like this up here? But it is just an exceptional summer. And um, it's been really good for the garden because everything has grown like triffids. Yeah. But it nothing's has. ripening now. We've got loads of tomatoes and they're just not ripening. So please, let's have a bit of sunshine. Done well with the garden. We've picked loads of little flowers like that. And Fran's just been out and collected <laughs> some small little uh, carrots, little round carrots. Every meal really has something from the garden and it's been amazing. I, I would never have dreamt that you could have grown so much from three three beds, four yeah, beds. Yeah, three beds um, in such a short space of time. Yeah. You know, it, we've been here nearly four months now already, can you believe? Yeah. And uh, we really have had a productive crop from the garden. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. So we haven't moved the boat for a month. We've been uh, stuck in our ways a little bit, haven't we? We've sort of um, lost our momentum a little bit mm. and um, slowed down. I know we're always talking about slowing down being a good thing, but we've slowed down almost into going <laughs> into reverse. <laughs> um, and the last cruise that we had, we went and got a service done on the boat and we really, really enjoyed being out, even though we were just doing the same bit of canal. Mm. Um, yeah. And the trouble with being here is that we can't go very, very far without doing serious locks at each end of this. We're, we're going up and down, up and down on the same bit of canal and it's given us a little bit of a problem, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, when we first moored here we got stuck into the garden. I was building beds for the vegetables and the decking and uh, I must say after about a month or so I began to slow down and uh, kind of hid in, in, inside the boat. Haven't been out much have we? I haven't done walks. We've caught the train and the bus into town and done things for ourselves but we haven't done any walks particularly for distance. I know I've had a bad foot but that's mended 99% now. And just we've just lost our momentum. We've, and we've really slowed down. We? we really have stagnated. Yeah. And we get comments from people um, who have just joined the channel and uh, are going back into our old videos. And we've looked on the video to see what they're referring to. And we've gone to each other, hey, look at this, look at this. Remember when we were there, blah, blah. So we've done a lot of heart searching. Is that the expression? We have. We've had a lot of, it's been a really, really difficult decision. Um, and we have, it. we've tossed and turned and tossed and turned over it. And as, as lovely as this mooring is, and it's everything that we thought it was going to be, um, we've just realised that we've got itchy feet yeah. too much, and we still want to travel. And just to travel for a few months in the winter is not going to do it, is no, it? It's not gonna be enough. <laughs> we're missing it. We're missing the canals. We're missing not knowing what's around the corner. Yeah. And we look back at all the videos of all the places we've been to. Uh, I guess looking at the map we've done what something like I don't know 75-80% of the whole network that you can do there's still places we need to go and do okay. there are still places we want to go back to and, and, and look again yeah. with uh, different eyes so uh, we've made the decision that we're going to give up the plot we're going to give up the plot here and uh, get cruising again <laughs> and we're gonna to have to leave some veg behind we're, we're gonna stay another couple of weeks I think At least, um, yeah. and we will harvest everything that we can what we can 
No turnips, please. Because it was your idea to grow the turnips, not mine. <laughs> um, yeah, it, there's, there's just so much. I can still do my foraging. We'll go back to growing on the bow, and I'm going to go into that with renewed vigour. Yeah. And really, I've never worked that hard at it in the past, but I do believe it is possible to grow some stuff on the boat. So I'm going to go into that wholeheartedly and really think about it next year. I can get back to my foraging because I don't know. We've just lost lost our excitement about mm. it all, haven't we? We have, we have, and we've we have explored the uh, environs around here um, by ourselves without doing videos. Um, and you walk the dogs every morning. And it's the same old walk, isn't it, that yeah. you're doing? And you're coming back, going, oh, we need to find some new walks, blah blah. And um, we will be here for another three weeks or so, I think. We've got commitments uh, ahead of us. Uh, so we won't be doing any video in until then. Um, but yeah, we are really looking forward now to getting back out there, getting back on the system, finding new things, revisiting old places and finding new things about the old places we visited. And finding out about ourselves. This has been part of this as well. You think that you know what you want. You think we thought that this mooring was it and that we'd reached where we were going to be yeah. but i don't think we're ready to reach where we're going to be yet I st we still no. don't know what we're doing and where we're going and and how life is going to pan out and i just don't think we're ready to accept that this will be us for the foreseeable future it's mm. you learn all the time and you think you're doing going in one direction but then you suddenly realize you want to go in another one and that's the beauty of this life really isn't it i guess it is we've you know we've made a, a bit of a financial commitment to this by putting the decking down and making the the raised beds but at the end of the day we didn't know that's what we wanted or didn't want you know until we tried it so we've tried it we've enjoyed it we've slowed down for four months nearly just uh, and just thought about exactly what it is we want from life and it ain't this no. <laughs> it really is not this i mean fortunately we didn't buy a piece of land because that's we would have bought a piece yeah. if we'd seen this more for sale we would possibly have bought yeah, it absolutely um and then the outcome would have been different mm. but um we've certainly made the most of it we've certainly enjoyed being here and the people here are lovely it's the perfect mooring really mm. if that's what you want <laughs> so do we tell them where we're going we're 100% we're sure of where we're going, aren't we? Well, we've got to look at stoppages, first of all. Yeah. So we know we're, we don't want to go back to Leeds and down the river. River Trent. No, not that way. Oh, and back around that way. We just don't want to do that. And there's places ahead we've not seen mm. through Burnley, and it looks lovely. So we're going that way towards Liverpool. But we've got to look at the stoppages then and see what happens. Yeah, we're not going to go to, to Liverpool. We're going to get to the junction at Wigan and uh, turn left probably, head towards Manchester and then go uh, back on the Langothlin Canal uh, for yeah. autumn with a bit of luck. We think that'll be, if we can get there and if stoppages don't prevent that, mm. that's going to be gorgeous. And we're hoping that we're going to get an Indian summer. Now, after all this rain, we want glorious autumn colours. I know exactly where there's chicken in the woods. <laughs> On the I've learned to say it again now. Langothlan Canal. I've forgotten how to say it. Um, and unfortunately, we're not going to go up onto the Lancaster just yet because that would mean we're stuck up there all winter. So that'll be something we'll have to come back to. Yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment because we were looking forward to going on the Lancaster Canal. Yeah. You have to book your crossing on the Ribble Ribble Link, uh, which is a tidal water. Um, and we could have gone up there for three weeks and then come back, but that's not going to do it justice. So that is for another day. But, when we're um, missing Yorkshire and Lancashire again, yeah, which will happen. We, yeah, we will. Uh, we will come back and do that dedicated journey, won't we? Yeah. This canal that leads to Liverpool has been fraught with um, stoppages lately. Uh, the locks have been closing, bridges have been closed, swing bridges have been closed. Sadly, a boat sank in the lock yeah. just a, a half a mile from where we are now, and that really brings it home to yeah. you, the, the perils that this life can offer. It brought us to tears, actually, just going yeah. up there and seeing it. Yeah. Just absolutely it's heartbreaking. Sad, absolutely heartbreaking, and a beautiful boat as well. Really not that old either, I don't think. And and it does bring it home to you that locks are dangerous places. You, know, yeah. you really have to respect them, and yeah. the slightest mistake can uh, 
can be um, well it doesn't bear thinking about no. but anyway hopefully the locks are all now open down into Wigan fingers crossed so we'll be able to get down there and then decide our route but time we're down there the result the results the stoppages should be announced yeah, shouldn't they, they so we be. can finalize it yeah and there's only can I just say one more thing and Go are on. we going on <laughs> just say another thing um there was recently an announcement about the CRT funding went out um, yeah, yeah. and that's going to be, you'll need to look into it if you want to and perhaps we'll put a link onto the site where you can find out what's happening. But there's big worries about the CRT funding in the future and we were going to make a whole dedicated video to it. Mm. Um, but we just didn't even get to do that. But we spent a day researching the money going into the CRT and what they cover and what they spend. And this was about the time when we were making the decision about what we were going to do. And it suddenly made me feel that I feel a bit invested in the canal system. Mm. I feel I feel really quite passionate about it, about the future of it and what's happening. So who knows, we might talk about that a little bit more in the future as well. Yeah, I think it's, well. it's worth talking about because um, government funding is going to reduce drastically come 2027 after then. Um, so the 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 future of the canals is, is up in the air at the moment and yeah. uh, Canal River Trust need all the help they can get so yeah. if you've got a few million stashed away at the bottom of your bed yeah. send it their way. Yeah definitely we don't want it. No we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that was all, all part of this thinking about where we are and where we want to be. For me doing all this research into the canals and the history and everything I just thought I know that this is where I want to be at the moment. Mm. For now, this is right. So, so that's us. That's where we are. That's what's going on. We're, we're really pleased. Yeah. We've got a, a, a new, renewed energy about us. Yeah. Uh, videos are in the next few weeks. We'll be starting again as as before, and uh, with a bit of luck, touch wood, we'll be able to um, provide you with more new footage, more new videos, and uh, and podcasts. Get our mojo back and podcasts. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to revive the podcast as well. So. Yeah. Um, that's going to happen in the next week. I've said it. Oh there my go. goodness. So it's got to happen now. So anyway, thanks for sticking with us. Yeah. Thanks for being there. Yep. Thanks to all our patrons and uh, YouTube members who um, help to support this channel. And uh, we'll see you out there. Yeah. And let's get cruising. Ta-ra.